Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be to how to how to engrave on all six sides of a block or anything. Uh, this is a baby block I do quite a few of, and I put six different figures: the giraffe, the footprints, his name, and on the back side it's got the weight, and and then uh, well you'll see in just a second. So the easiest way for me to do this is to take a quarter inch piece of MDF and lay it kind of in the center of your your laser bed and then the blocks themselves are 6.45 and I grabbed the wrong one they're 3.45 the hole that I'm going to cut out is uh, 3 Three and nine sixteenths. You want it a little bit bigger for a couple reasons. The blocks aren't perfectly made all the time. I get these blocks from a Colorado Heirloom. They're hollow blocks. They're really cool. They're lightweight. They're easily done and they're not that much money. So you're going to cut this out of your laser bed. Then take a piece of tape and, and pull that section out. Not moving this. In a, I did this later for the picture. I would normally maybe tape it down or put some weights on it so you would not move it. But you're not going to move it when you take your block in and out. But this is what's so neat about it. You've got six sides, and you need to put all six of them inside that square. So first of all, you're going to focus on that block while it's in the laser, and then send it back to the home position. And this is what's so cool about this. And I've actually got I actually got my run speed and my power up in the left. So when I want to put this very first one, I'm just going to hit P on the keyboard. And as you can see, the the other block is just a tad smaller because it won't because the edges of the block have little rounded edges. So you want to leave you a little bit of room. So you're going to let that run. And this is what's so neat about it. Then just grab this one and grab that one and hit P on your keyboard. And it's going to, again, it's going to put it in the center of the page. And you could be drawing this while the, you know, these take two or three or four minutes a piece to run. So you could be changing your, you know, your, your, you know, bring in your clip art of your feet. Uh, you know, I do a turtle and a, a text to path his name on a turtle. So this is the easiest way I've found to do it. I mean, you could do it in the top left corner and cut out a jig, but then you would have to take these and manually place them into that box. And you're not going to always be dead on because even uh, when you use snap to, it doesn't have anything to snap to. Now that time it actually did because it went to the center. But you can see, instead of doing that, I can easily just hit P on the keyboard, and it's going to put it at the center of the page. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.